Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about a numerical based on the decay constant as well as t half. So here also we are going to talk about the same kind of numerical. So let's start with this one. So friends, this is the fourth numerical that is what we are going to solve over here and let's see what is the question that has been asked. Decay constant for the mercury 197, here we see the 197, it represents the atomic mass number of this mercury, is found to be that is 0.017 R inverse, that is the decay constant for this mercury is found to be 0.017 R inverse, so what is its half life? So here only one data has been given and compared to that of the previous one that is what we have discussed it was in minute inverse and here it is R inverse. So therefore we have to calculate the T half but they have not mentioned that we have to calculate the value of T half in seconds or minutes or hours. So let me elaborate this thing here. So first of all the decay constant that is the value that is what we have got for lambda here it is found to be 0.017 r inverse and also we have to calculate that is t half but the formula that is what we know is t half is equals to 0 0.693 divided by lambda that is decay constant so here let us find out the value of by substituting the value of the decay constant over here so since as we have to find out the value of t half that is the half life and here basically we have the value of the decay constant which is found to be 0 0.017 r inverse so in that case the t half will have a value which has a unit of r so here let me calculate this thing and let me show you what is the value we could get over here so we have got the value of t half as 40.76 r so this value that is 40.76 r can be converted to minutes also by multiplying this value with 60 and we can also get it in seconds if you multiply this value into 60 into 60 so here is how basically we can calculate the value of t half so here since they have not mentioned we have to find out the t half in hours or in minutes or seconds we'll keep the value here as it is so this is the t half that is what we have got and that's it so simple so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this numerical very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much